Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a series of episodes for Get In The Game. This is the show where we try to go inside uh, the game of football and talk to coaches about what is really happening on and off the field. I think you'll like this week, and our guest this week is Deshaun Burns. He's the head football coach at Linfield Christian High School in Temecula, California. That's the Inland Empire where I got all this vast amount of land and space and schools and all this kind of stuff. They got a lot of cows out there too. And, you know, it's just way out. But those of you who know the Inland Empire know that it's a vast area. It's an area rich with talent. And Coach Burns and I go all the way back to 2012 uh, where we worked together in football university. And he's been all over the place. He played at USC. You'll hear about that. Uh, he coached with the Washington Redskins and and, and and others at the college level. He knows what he's talking about. He knows the game of football. Most importantly, he knows what kids and families are trying to get done. And he's a great mentor and a great leader. I think you'll enjoy the series of conversations that we have with him. And uh, just, you know, just join us for some lively conversation. Um, we have no problems talking uh, pretty much on any subject. So welcome to Get in the Game. I'm your host, David Hill. This is sponsored by HSPN Sports. And we bring you episode one with Coach Deshaun Burns. I'm going to let him have his stage, but I'm going to talk about him and get that out of the way first so he can tell all the stories he wants to, and all the stories are true, right? We got some stories, <laughs> and they're all true. But here, here's a young man. Now, I know, you may not know this, but I know Rubido in that area very well. Used to have to spend our weekends. It was miserable, Coach. I'm going to tell you this much. Mom used to drive us out to Riverside near Rubido High School, where you went to school. Uh -huh. and my aunt and my uncle lived there, okay? My aunt Inez and Uncle Robert. Not uh -huh. too far from the school. And you know the, the I know you know that little hill with the with the uh with the cross at the top, the oh, rocks Mount and all Rubidoux. that. Yeah, Mount yeah, 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 Mount Rubido, right? Yeah. They live right at the base of that, right? They live right there. Oh, okay. Coach Burns. It was miserable. You're up there by the big uh by the big lake and it, yeah, it was not, not too far from the lake. Yeah, yeah, you know, we go there. My aunt and my uncle were a little older, and we go there and be there all day with nothing to eat. <laughs> Some M&Ms. <laughs> right. and, and you know, you know, Riverside. There's nothing to do out there, man. Right. right. There's nothing to do out there. But I, you know, I I do have fond memories of spending time with my aunt and uncle out there, and uh, I know where you are, Rubio High School. You're a four sport letterman out there. Four sports. Yes, sir. Yes, it's a rare sir. thing these days. Yeah, yeah that's right. I did the same thing, and sir. I believe it or not, I don't look like it anymore. But I did four sports, mm -hmm. lettered in four sports. You did that. Went on to University of Southern California. Yeah, fight right on. on. Right that's on. right. Fight on, baby. Mm -hmm. And what's going on with them? They ain't playing yet. So what the heck? Come on, Pac-12, get it yeah, together. Got to get right. Get the boys. Come right. on, man. Yeah, that program's got to get right. That's what. That's a premier program. That's so right. you went there, played defensive back, like me. Mm -hmm. Probably played a little better than I did. And so you had a great experience there. A little injury that sent you into – that's kind of what propelled you into coaching, I, I would assume, right? Yes. Can we say that? Yes, you sure can. You sure okay. can. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Ro Rose Bowl experience. And um, on from there, I guess you got a chance to coach at the University of Texas, El Paso, I want to say. Yes. Good experience there. Mm -hmm. um, also, defensive coordinator at Texas Southern, right? Yeah, I was, I was prior to uh, UTEP, so I was at – Okay. Yeah, I actually went to um, – I'm over Beverly Hills High School is my first coaching job, Beverly Hills High oh, School. okay. And I went from B Beverly Hills um, to uh, Bishop Palmont, where I was there for six oh. years. Yes. Okay. Then yes. I was there for six years. And then um, after Beverly Hills – or excuse me, Bishop Palmont, I went to Florida. Okay. And I was at Florida for a season and then the Redskins for two Right. In Texas Southern for four, and then uh, defensive coordinator, assistant head coach, and interim head coach, and then to UTEP. Okay. And then UTEP. When, did Lin, when did Linfield Christian become a real option for you? When did that transition take place, and what, what got you interested in Linfield Christian? Um, actually, we came back. I was at UTEP, and then I left UTEP and went to uh, Sacramento Mountain Lions United Football League. That season fully, okay. and then we were okay. there, and so I came home, and we came back to Southern California, and so my family was in SoCal while I was in Sacramento, and then okay. I was still on the contract, but the league had folded, right, so they weren't going to return and play another year. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I looked into some other options and began to consult and then do some stuff for um, 
Athletic Republic and, you know, the training, getting the guys ready for the combine and stuff like that. Sure. So, sure. And then um, my kids. Yeah. We're interested in um, uh, we're interested in looking at a viable option for our kids. They went to middle school and elementary school in the public sector. I always okay. talked about our kids in private school. Right. And um, we had to uh, just a second. Let me, let me meet it real quick, Dave. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We're, 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 we're good. So um, from there, uh, we, you know, I did a season, I came home and I had uh, talked to a friend of mine who was actually at Vista Maria High School, you know, the school, and yes. we're talking, we're talking about consulting and, and just talking about recruiting. Yeah. The realities okay. of the, Interesting. how it really works. Yeah. Not needing to pay a certain entities a gob of money for things that coaches should be doing. Um, yes. I had no dog in the hunt, so, you know, dog in the fight, so I wasn't concerned, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get in trouble for telling the truth, right? So I, I could tell you how it works behind. I was, I've been in the war rooms and all that, so I was doing yeah. that. He approached me about being at Linfield, and my daughter was in the fourth grade. My yeah. middle son was in seventh, and my oldest was in eighth. Yeah. I interviewed. They took a tour. They liked the school. God was a big piece of it. We had That's left Texas, and the kids were kind of reared in the Bible Belt. Okay. And yeah. So I, home and they're like you know we, we like it here yeah and um and they had middle school football so that's a big thing yeah which is huge because we're athletic family so it was kind of like being in texas yeah so you know we thought about it and then once i was there um i was a director of athletic development and fundraising so we connected on some fbu stuff did a couple of celebrity golf tournaments okay and was assistant head coach and d coordinator at the time okay and then uh, our head coach left, you know, there was a change in, in, in the guard. And I was yep. asked to step in and took the job in 2013. Okay. And my, the, the reality is my daughter, I was picking her up from uh, class at the end of the day. And we're in the golf cart and I'm taking her back to the football field. We're going to practice. And she said she wanted to graduate from Linfield, like in fourth grade. Yes. And she was like, she'd like to graduate from here. I was like, are you sure, honey? And she was like, yeah. 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 You know, and I said, what if USC comes calling? She's like, no, I want to graduate from here. And okay. So it's been, it's been a place, you know, it's, it's been good. So okay. I took the head job and I've been the head coach ever since. God's blessed us all three of my kids yeah. graduated from Linfield. And yeah. you know, it's, been, it's been a plus. It's been a plus. That's, not, that's a great story. So we're talking about since about 2013, correct? Uh, 2011 when I got 2011? there. 2011? Okay. 13, I took over as the head coach. Okay. I've been as a head coach, right. I've and been, we've been, we've been, we've been knowing each other since the FTU days, right around 2012. Would that uh -huh. be right? Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, football university was where we connected and, and, and have had some really good times up at your school. Yeah. Good runs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> combine at the school, the whole deal, you know? We had right. a combine. That's exactly right. I feel like it's a second home for me. And then you've made, you've made it that way. And I appreciate you for that. So, uh, you know, this is good chatting with, with coach Deshaun Burns, head coach at Linfield uh, Christian high school, a, a beautiful place, a good place for kids, great families. You have great families up there that support the school and a great administration are always welcoming every time we come up and spend time with you. And um, so ha happy to have you here. I want to, I want to talk about some, some really uh, uh, meaningful experiences there, you know, involving Linfield and the football program there, starting with, you know, let's go, let's go kind of past present and future. If we could do that kind of in that order. And I want to share something with you. Uh, and I know you'll be familiar with this once we once we show you this. You'll have fun with this. Those are those are, are early days <laughs> when yeah. when I when I had some. No, I didn't have any hair. I guess not. <laughs> I was going to say when I had some hair, I didn't have any hair. Yeah, yeah. I was but after anyhow, practice. How he, about you know, yeah? How he about came these off guys? practice one evening and 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 yeah, I think it was on the the team that we had a championship run. I want to say that year. It's a year oh, we certainly did. That was that was the year of a championship run. I remember these boys. Let me put them up again so we can see them. And there yeah. they are. Okay. There yeah. they are. And so let's talk about this crew. I know your two boys are right here. Okay. Simeon and, and Lorenzo, we'll talk about them, but let's go across the board. Where are they now? This is part of the past and a great run that these guys made in the CIF playoffs. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll start uh, here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the pointer. Uh, um, nope. Are we going left to right, coach? We're going to go, we're, look at the we're gonna go, we're gonna go uh, left to right. So Gabe okay, Westall. Cool. Uh, was right our offensive lineman, DN uh, guard. 
Okay. Abe uh, ended up, he had opportunities to go to uh, St. John's University in, in uh, Wisconsin, in Minnesota, or excuse me, yep. uh, in Wisconsin, yeah, yeah, Wisconsin. Okay. And um, ended up going to Azusa Pacific and got into uh, ministry. So um, Gabe has now traveled the world and is strong in the ministry department. He's, he's doing a lot of ministry, uh, a lot of uh, 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 Bible teaching in, in Asia. Um, he's been down to Brazil, South America. He's back now, obviously, with the COVID and everything. So he's back and so yeah. he's doing stuff locally. But he's been making a big statement, you know, for the kingdom. Sure. And, and, sure. and that was his choice. You know, he had a chance to go play and was offered. Um, but, but, you know, obviously felt a different calling. The gentleman sure. back of him with the black uh -huh. hair, a little taller than the guy with the no shirt. Um, yep. <laughs> Brian Arcopito, he went to St. John's. He ended up going to St. John's and playing wide receiver at St. John's. Oh, um, fantastic. Yeah. And if she's going to be going in the military, actually going to be going in the Navy here. I just saw him probably oh. a week ago. Yeah. Okay. He's going to be going in the Navy. And the guy with no shirt, that's a Simeon. <laughs> Look at Simeon. That's my military. <laughs> uh, Simeon went that's to Dixie true. State. Went yeah. to Dixie State. He was a year younger than these guys. Went to Dixie State. He uh -huh. finished uh, all CIF and all um, all league. Yes. Um, and was the uh, male player of the year for the school in his yeah. senior year. Um, he went to Dixie State. Came home with the Chafee. Did a season at Chafee. Now he's at Chowan okay. University. He's okay. at Chowan University in, in North Carolina. North uh, Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The guy with the the C with the tank top looking in yes. the back here. That's Lorenzo. Yes. That's my oldest. That's Lorenzo Burns. Yes, he sir. graduated um, the following year and uh, it was all CIF and all league and all state small school and yeah. you know player of the year uh, for the ambassador league during his time there. And he's at the University of Arizona, graduated, working on his fifth year. So he's working on his graduate. I, you know, I saw that. That's fantastic. That, that That's a key, key thing. He's already graduated. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Yeah. In three years, four years. He graduated in four years. When his fifth, he, you know, he's on house money now. So we always fantastic. talked about that in our household. Just work on house money. Go get, you know, go get your, your due, yes, put sir. your time in and go get it. So yes, he, um, he left, you know, he's obviously at Arizona. He's been a yes. two-time All-Pac-12 player, interception leader in the conference yes. a couple of times and was a defensive yes. MVP for the University of Arizona this past season. And we're yeah, returning, gotcha. you know, to see how it all plays out this year. Had a draft yes. grade on him last year, decided to return, okay. uh, play another year. And then we'll see, you know, what it looks yeah. like now. You know, we're waiting that's on cool. him. Um, the guy next to him, shorter, thicker guy, finger mm -hmm. out, and that's Greg Holt. That is the Mr. Greg Holt. Yes. Ended up being the tackle leader in the state of California with 209 in one season. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. 488 in his career. And then went on to Tufts University where he's graduated as well from Tufts. Um, we'll walk into a job playing at least a, a hundred and a quarter here when things uh -huh. open back up. Um, as okay. he left Tufts, he also left, left his march at Tufts where he was the tackle leader in his, in his history. Each and every year he was a three-time excuse me, four-time all-conference player, four-time All-American, uh, male athlete of the year. So he left his mark there and just did what he did in California, right? Outstanding. Yeah, uh, the big fellow with the big with the, with the stone face in the back with the Big, big tie. He, no, I never – I don't know that uh, – there are maybe two occasions. How many times have you seen Ty smile? Uh, he, he didn't – he didn't smile now, a lot. The, the only time I've seen him smile is on his graduation <laughs> picture. Okay. He graduated twice. So graduated right. from high school, and then he also graduated okay. from college – He's at Weber State in his fifth year. He's been Fantastic. a three-time All-Conference guy, two-time All-American for yes. Weber State in, in, in the Big Sky. And he has a draft grade on him, you know, so the, the word is good on him about getting drafted. Oh. But he'll be okay. playing his senior year uh, at okay. Weber State. The gentleman okay. with the band and the L on his chest is Zach Archer, who played yeah, tailback yeah. for us. Yeah. Zach played uh, tailback for us and went on to University of Redlands. Is now a fireman. And then the guy with the shirt rolled up showing off the six-pack is Isaiah Pate. <laughs> Yeah. Went well, Isaiah. yeah, Isaiah went to Trinity University. So theoretically, everybody in this picture had a chance to go to college and got out and got offered something. You know, I, 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 here's the really thing. Here's the thing I want people to understand. Your kids have a heck of a set of hair. Look at the hair on those guys. Oh, man. They are all <laughs> conference in the hair department. No yeah, question yeah. about it. That was a great that. group. 
<laughs> it's funny you say that. Lorenzo's freshman year, there was a picture floating around in Arizona where somebody uh-huh. picked an all hair team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, oh, he's. Yeah. yeah. He's, he had made it. He had made it. They no question. It. Yeah. Oh, they, he's, a, he's, he's a five star with the hair now. Don't get it twisted. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's, a, you know. that's just fantastic. Well, I, I, that's a great story uh, with each of these guys, and, as you know. And, um, you know, I, we, it's just amazing to me. Actually, it's been, what, five years now since those guys are going into their fifth year. Uh, and then the uh, picture uh, is actually missing uh, Mike yeah. Brown. Yeah, I remember, I remember Mike. On that team, and Mike was kicking at USC, so he went on on a full ride to USC. And he was like Beautiful. the player in the state. I mean, excuse me, kicker in the state. Um, made all CIF, all state, and all that good stuff. And he's now at USC going – he's graduated as well. So, Lorenzo, okay. Mike, Ty, Greg, and, um, yeah, Lorenzo, Mike, Ty, and Greg were all graduated. And there was another man by the name – Timmy Lee. I don't know if you remember big Timmy Lee, about six, 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 seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Timmy Lee went to a specific plate and graduated. So, kids go in and graduate, you know. Yeah. That- that's that's the key that yeah. they're having success in transition and and it's it's really part of something that we really kind of emphasize certainly in and more than what we do with HSP and sports but the idea that we're talking with kids who have the ability to transition very successfully from high school to college and here's the other transition that eventually they're going to have to make whatever that is and whenever that is if mm-hmm. if so if so they get a chance to play in the league great but at some point in time you're transitioning to a career a sustainable Correct. career, and that's why you have the education that you have, and, 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 and graduation is so critically important as well, too.